Well, we got this far in our brains, farther than any human in history. Well, not far enough. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most dangerous movie quests. Look what I'm offering you. Your dreams. No! 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 Great shot, kid! That was one in a million! For this list, we'll be looking at the most dangerous quests and journeys in films, usually undertaken to obtain or destroy a specific object. Which quest do you find the most dangerous? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. The Templar Treasure, National Treasure This film is a throwback to the glory days of Indiana Jones and the serial adventure capers of the 30s and 40s that the Jones series was modeled after. You're treasure hunters, aren't you? We're more like treasure protectors. Nicolas Cage stars as Benjamin Gates, a historian obsessed with a family legend concerning an unknown treasure. Get out of there. Get out of there now. I'm taking the whole thing. He embarks on a quest to find the treasure, resulting in a slew of dangerous predicaments. He is forced to try to steal the Declaration of Independence. Who's shooting? He has to evade and fight the associates of Ian Howe, a former friend and rival treasure hunter. You know the key to running a convincing bluff. Every once in a while, you've got to be holding all the cards. At one point, he's even arrested by the FBI and left for dead under Trinity Church. See you, Ben. Point being, hunting for treasure is not exactly a safe or easy task. I'm guessing that's significant. Number nine, searching for treasure, Oh brother, where art thou? Hey, any boys, Smithies. Serving as the Coen Brothers' unique 1930s American South reimagining of the Odyssey, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? concerns three escaped convicts attempting to recover a buried treasure. You said we wouldn't get the treasure we seek on account of our obstacle. As we established with the previous entry, hunting for treasure is not the safest task. You got a plan for getting out of here? Sure, boys. Before the quest can even truly begin, the convicts are betrayed by one of their cousins and nearly burned up in a barn. Damn. We got a skedaddle. And like Ulysses in the Odyssey, the gang encounter myriad issues along the way, including sirens who ply them with whiskey and a violent rally of the clan. It's certainly a funny quest, but one certainly filled with problems, betrayal, and danger. Didn't know you'd be bringing a friend. He'll just have to wait his turn. Number eight, Transcontinental Road Race, Death Race 2000. What Pakistan? This film presents an alternate history in which the world experienced an ambiguous crash in 1979, turning the United States into a totalitarian regime. The government runs the yearly transcontinental road race, a cross-country race that often sees innocent people killed and the racers scoring points for their deaths. The big score, anyone, any sex, over 75 years old, has been up to 100 points. A resistance group led by Thomasina Payne and Annie Smith plans to kill most of the drivers in an act of rebellion. Bye bye, baby. Hello, 70 points. No matter the side, the transcontinental road race proves an extremely dangerous and deadly endeavor filled with death, destruction, and lots of high octane action. It's exactly the type of abhorrent violence the government needs to entertain and placate a discontented population. <laughs> Number 7. The Yellow Brick Road, The Wizard of Oz Dorothy is told to follow the Yellow Brick Road, if only she knew how dangerous that was. Follow the Yellow Brick Road. Follow the Yellow Brick Road. Follow the Yellow Brick Road. Dorothy's quest is simple and relatable. Get to Emerald City and hopefully return home to Kansas. Won't you take me with you? Why, of course I will. However, she and her gang of misfits are continuously accosted by otherworldly magic, most of it stemming from the evil Wicked Witch of the West. Take your army to the haunted forest and bring me that girl and her dog. Do what you like with the others, but I want her alive and unharmed. The quest isn't even over when they get to Emerald City, as they are then tasked with obtaining the witch's broomstick, a task that eventually results in the poor scarecrow getting set on fire. This being a kid's movie, the violence isn't too drastic. That said, there's certainly enough scary danger here to satiate even the hungriest adventure fan. Hey, the the wish, wish is dead. Number 6. Finding Kurtz, Apocalypse Now. <laughs> 
perhaps one of the most uncompromising glimpses into war, Apocalypse Now stars Martin Sheen as Captain Benjamin Willard, a deeply traumatized soldier ordered to find and kill Colonel Kurtz. Terminate the Colonel. Kurtz has gone mad and is living in the jungles of Vietnam, waging a guerrilla war against Vietnamese forces. To find Kurtz, Willard and his team must essentially venture into the heart of darkness. Well, while not literally, the violence and despair they encounter comes pretty darn close to hell on earth. The quest is rife with brutality, death, and horror. horror. Number 5. The Ark, Raiders of the Lost Ark Dr. Jones and I, you must understand that this is all strictly confidential. As noted, National Treasure was greatly influenced by the Indiana Jones series and for very good reason. Archaeologist Indiana Jones is hired by the army to find the Ark of the Covenant, as the government believes Hitler will use it to create a literally unstoppable army. It's certainly a tough quest, as Jones must contend with violent Nazis intent on recovering the Ark for themselves. Following a string of violent and near-death encounters, Jones and Marion are witness to the opening of the Ark. Marion, don't look at it. Shut your eyes, Mary, and don't look at it no matter what happens. Suffice to say, it does not make for a very pretty sight. If they had opened their eyes, they would have become victims of the vengeful spirits inhabiting the Ark. <laughs> Number 4. Traveling Through a Wormhole, Interstellar well, we got this far in our brains, farther than any human in history. Well, not far enough. Christopher Nolan's Interstellar is nothing if not wildly ambitious. The story takes place in the relatively near future of 2067, with Earth plagued by violent and debilitating dust storms. Fearing the extinction of humanity, NASA sends a group of astronauts to a mysterious wormhole near Saturn. Everybody ready to say goodbye to our solar system? The wormhole opens near a group of habitable planets, potentially allowing for humanity's survival. Joseph Cooper and a team of scientists are sent to traverse the wormhole, a dangerous quest that involves numerous deaths, some seriously dangerous planets, and severe time-space craziness. Well, this little maneuver is gonna cost us 51 years! You don't sound so bad for pushing 120! Oh, and also a gigantic black hole that houses a mysterious tesseract. Space doesn't mess around. Murph! Murph, come on! What's this say? What's this say? What's this say? Number 3. Destroying the Horcruxes, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Parts 1 and 2. The Harry Potter series is filled with dangerous quests, with each movie containing its own unique adventure. It's a Horcrux. It could be hidden anywhere. But the most dangerous quest of them all involves finding Voldemort's Horcruxes. Defend This expansive quest spans both Deathly Hallow films, and it takes the core group all around the country, fighting off betrayal, snatchers, and death eaters along the way. They are also relegated to live in the woods while harboring pieces of Voldemort's soul, a living situation that eventually results in the brief departure of Ron. You think I don't know how this feels? No, you don't know how it feels! Your parents are dead! You have no family! Stop! Stop! <laughs> Go! The adventure eventually ends at Hogwarts, with the Battle of Hogwarts resulting in the complete destruction of the school and the deaths of many people, including some beloved characters. Number 2. Destroy the Ring, Lord of the Rings Trilogy J.R.R. Tolkien sure knew how to craft an epic tale. You must leave, and leave quickly. Where? Where do I go? Get out of the Shire. Perhaps the most famous fantasy series ever written and later adapted for film, The Lord of the Rings spans many different fictional cultures and dramatic storylines. But at the heart of the story are Frodo Baggins and Samwise Gamgee, two modest hobbits traversing Middle-earth to destroy Sauron's One Ring. They must contend with the wily Gollum, a giant spider, and the forces of the ring itself, whereas the rest of the Fellowship are drawn into a war with the army of Mordor. Sauron serves as the very embodiment of evil, and his forces are both incredibly dangerous and unimaginably countless. This is one of the quintessential quests in fiction. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Narnia, The Chronicles of Narnia. 
kids are forced to free the land of Narnia. For Narnia! And for Asa! Planet Mongo, Flash Gordon. Flash and his team must save Earth by defeating Ming the Merciless. Go Flash! Finding safety, the road. A man and his son fight and struggle to survive. You look at him again, I'll shoot you in the head. That boy looks hungry. Why don't y'all come on the truck? Get you something to eat. Ain't no need to be such a hard ass. Undead pirates. Pirates of the Caribbean, the curse of the Black Pearl. Hordes of undead are terrifying foes. So what now, Jack Sparrow? We to be two immortals locked in an epic battle until Judgment Day and the trumpet sound. Or you could surrender. Quest for the City of Gold, Aguirre the Wrath of God. Conquistadors search for El Dorado. Gold. Frag ihn, wo er das hier hat. Frag ihn, wo El Dorado ist. Woher kommt dieses Gold? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Destroying the Death Star Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope You'll do all right. Thank you, sir. I'll try. The original Star Wars shares many similarities to classic adventure stories, including a humble protagonist forced to embark on a quest to unlock their true potential in order to save the world. Star Wars concerns humble young farmer Luke Skywalker, who eventually goes to battle with Darth Vader and the Galactic Empire. You know, between his howling and your blasting everything inside, it's a wonder the whole station doesn't know we're here. Well, bring him on. I prefer a straight fight to all this sneaking around. Along the way, Luke must evade Star Destroyers and impersonate a stormtrooper in order to help save Princess Leia. And that's before leading an attack on the Death Star itself. You're all clear, kid. Now let's blow this thing and go home. The quest results in some shocking deaths, including the destruction of an entire planet with the Death Star. This is certainly not the quiet farm life that Luke was expecting. Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.